It's August 15th. It's been over a month since we visited the hoop house, but I thought I would wait until there was really something significantly different to show you. And you'll see that compared to the last time we visited the hoop house, things are very much further along. And we'll see that the peppers, which were barely beginning, are now well established. And here's the carmines. And they're, of course, because we're late, they're not yet turned red. But you see we have a pretty good pepper and lots of blossoms and very healthy plants. And we have four of the carmine plants. The jalapenos had a hard time getting going. Um, but they're now doing well. And I've added quite a bit of soil amendments here along the way and I added some composted manure and some steer manure and some of our compost and that seems to have really turned the corner for the jalapenos and actually for all of the peppers and here we see the gypsy peppers which we planted not from our own stars but from ones we bought and you can see that they're pretty well loaded with peppers at this point in time so and many more coming along and everything very very healthy and still have some dill and our cucumbers i am especially happy you may remember we had really like the tragedy when i first planted them and they all withered up and died and i had to end up planting seeds but uh, now you see and again this is the first year my Cucumber plants are completely healthy. They have no uh, seeds. And I see here, I peek in here, ah yes, our first cucumber that we're going to get to pick, I think, is right there, maybe in another day. And there are many more all setting themselves. So this way of dealing with the cucumbers seems to have been worked out very well. And we have... Uh, another cucumber I know hiding away down here and many more little ones on the way so we're just about uh, really in to be in cucumbers it's uh, as I say we planted it two months later and I think we're about a month later and here's an Armenian cucumber that's just about ready to pick we have some basil hiding down in here a little cilantro that's probably a little bit past and our tomatoes, we're again just beginning to have our tomatoes coming in, but uh, here's the sun golds, and you see we've got a one ripe sun gold, lots of green ones here. So that's doing well, and it's very healthy again. Here's the one commercial tomato we bought. Uh, Burpee's better boy, and I have to say, of all our tomatoes, it's actually looks the least vigorous, healthy, and the fewest tomatoes set on it. So, so much for those kind of tomatoes. And here we have our Nyugas, which was one of our favorites from last year, a purple tomato. And you can see we have some very nice setting of fruit on this. And we have actually two of them, and see this one also is set well. We have quite a lot of leaf curl on the tomatoes, but uh, I read about that early in the year, and it said it's a physical curl that doesn't hurt the um, productivity of the plant. And we'll see, everything does seem pretty healthy. I did, because the curl looked pretty bad on this, I did do a copper spray last week, which is an... Um, organically acceptable spray and here we have purple Cherokee and we've actually in the house I have a purple Cherokee that we harvested and you see something's been trying to dig a hole in this one but you'll see these are pretty big tomatoes here's a another one that we haven't yet picked and you can see it's a, a real handful so and we've now picked two of these and then over here are our stupache, and maybe that was our third most popular tomato last year. And we're just starting to get those. We've got one of those in the house, but you can see there's amazing uh, 
strands of flowers here that will all become tomatoes so we're going to have very many stupid shade tomatoes and again I want to just stress how much happier and healthier all the plants are this year being spaced much further apart so I think we're going to end up this year with a bumper crop later than our previous years but entirely satisfactory so I would say the hoop house is once again a success